Hey everyone, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Kristen Barkaloo. Hi. So, my dear, you you have got a lot going on. I've I've been researching and studying you, and you are just all over the music map right now. And I'm really excited to talk to you. So, oh my goodness! Well, I'm so excited to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the first thing I I want to congratulate you on is over the Halloween weekend you had the number one song on the Radio Rock ninety two point six The Blitz right for your yeah, song. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm I'm so excited to, to you know to talk to you about that. Your song is called Back to Frost Proof. Um, so yeah. tell me tell me about that song and and what inspired you to write this song. Okay, well, like, usually when people hear the title, then they're like, oh, Frostproof, what's a Frostproof, what is that? Um, so basically, Frostproof is this little itty-bitty town in central Florida. And, um, you know, we have a little family farm there, and it's where my family hangs out a lot of the time. And it's actually where my grandparents met, um, where my grandmother grew up. And so it's one of my favorite places to be. And so that's what I wrote the song about, just going back to that home-like feel you know, of of the little town of Frostproof, right. which I think applies to, you know, everyone has a hometown kind of feel. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I and I know that, you know, for musicians, you know, especially that are following their dream who, you know, a lot of musicians move to Nashville and, you know, L.A., you know, places like that. So when they're not from there and they move far away from home, they become homesick, you know. So I, I love that. Hi. I love I love the idea of that song and, and what it means and how many people can relate to it. That's that's really awesome. Well, thank now, you. Um, another thing that is really great about you is that all of your songs are original on on your album, um, Halfway to Tennessee. Everything is original on here, which is, you know, pretty rare musically these days, especially in, in the country music world, you know. Um, so what, mm-hmm. I, I want to know what your thoughts were behind that. What, you know, what was it just really important for you to write all of your own material or, you know, what 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 went on in your mind for that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I recorded the album when I was 17, and I wrote all the songs on it when I was 16. And so it was basically just a documentation of my 16th year on the earth. And so it was, it, you know, I mean, songwriting is one of the fundamental aspects of my life. I mean, it's how I record my everyday life. It's how I record my thoughts and emotions. And so really there was no other option for me right. other than just to include the original songs. No, that's 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 great. And you started writing at a pretty young age, right? Yes, I actually I didn't really get into songwriting until I was around thirteen. But before that, I always loved writing, you know, short stories and anything that tells a story, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. When I when I was reading, I thought, wow, you've been involved with music and performing and entertaining for such a long time, and you didn't pick up your first guitar until you were 15. And so I'm just, I was just sitting there reading and I thought, wow, like you've just, you've been involved in so much that it was actually very inspiring. And I think that, um, I think that any, anyone who is interested in music or entertainment, you know, at, at all, I think they could learn a lot from you because you've participated in just so many different things and forms of entertainment. It's been pretty great to read about. And um, I, your biography on your website tells a lot about you, which which I think is incredible. And one of the things Thank that you. I, uh, you're welcome. One of the things that I really, really was excited about was that um, you, you won an Outstanding Achievement Award in songwriting for Last Chance. Yes, that was exciting. That was a really wonderful time. Absolutely. So tell me what was going on in your in your mind throughout this time. Like that just had to be such a huge moment for you. It was incredible because I think I'd just gotten home from school one day um, and my mom sort of pulled up an email on the computer and she was like, oh, my gosh, you just won this for this song that you wrote, you know, last year. And it's it's so incredible to, you know, it's not really real when you get that about something that you just kind of wrote sitting there at 2 a.m., you know, on your bedroom floor. Right. So, you know, it's it's a really incredible thing to to find out. No, and I mean, just you came home from school and your mom just pulls up an email. Like, that just, I, that had to blow your mind, I, I'm sure. Like, that would have been... Yeah, it was... <laughs> 
it was it was a, a really really good day. <laughs> no, I I bet. I'm like, did you guys go out and celebrate after? Like, what did you do? I mean, just. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, my goodness. I think, you know, we just kind of sat there and we got um, the actual certificate in the mail um, like a week later, I think it was. And so that was the big moment of, wow, it's actually like sitting there in front of me. And, you know, we can right. like, you know, put it up on the mantle in a fun place. And so that oh, was that was fun. That's great. So your family, I mean, were they very... I mean, I'm sure they were just immediately supportive of you being that you've been in the, you know, entertainment, you know, side of life for a, a really long time, like most of your life. So were they really supportive right. of you in, in your choice to follow your dreams and pursue music as a career? Absolutely. Which, I mean, I can begin to tell you how supportive they are of me, which, I mean, I really, I'm honestly not exaggerating when I say that. I mean, my mom has just, like, as soon as I told her that I wanted to, um, you know, pursue this seriously, you know, she's helped me so much with learning about the music industry and, you know, the business of it. And, right. you know, it's it's really incredible to have such supportive parents because, you know, no one else in my family has really gone into music. I mean, right. my dad's an engineer and my mom's a technical writer. And so it's, um, you know, to just have something that far, you know, in left field to have them still be so supportive. It's it's really amazing. Oh, it, it absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I, you know, I see a lot and I hear a lot from a lot of different people and, you know, so it, it's more difficult, I think, for, for some artists when they haven't grown up with music surrounding them. It just doesn't come as easy and they got to work a little bit harder. I mean, everybody works hard, you know, don't get me wrong, but so it's really oh, yeah. great that you have such an amazing support um, system with, with them, especially not being in the industry and and, you know, the, the music industry, you know, I learn every day. There are so many things that you just don't think about, and it's difficult. And, you know, it can be brutal, and um, it can be amazing, too, Absolutely. obviously. But, so yeah. that, the, you know, the, so that that's that's absolutely wonderful. Now, one of the things that, that I've learned about you that I have not heard from any other artists that I've interviewed up to this point is that you have a list of goals on your wall, and I'm so intrigued by that because, you know, you hear about it, you know, in the direct sales business and, you know, all other aspects of life. People have like little goal things on their wall, but I've never heard like, I've, ne I've never heard this in any of my interviews. So I'm, I'm so interested about your list of goals and, and what that's about and what, what inspired you to do that. Oh my goodness. That's so cool that you, you, that you think that's cool. Um, I just kind of wrote it up one day when I was 16 just to sort of, I mean, I'm a list maker. You know, I, I like to try to keep a game plan in mind. And mm -hmm. so I just I just thought, you know, I'm just going to write down everything that I want to do with my life. Um, and so I have that right up on my wall just so I can see it every day, just to keep me reminded of, you know, where I'm going, what I'm working towards. Because, you know, you have to keep working towards it else it's not going to happen. Right. So it's, it's just nice to have that everyday reminder. Um, and so, you know, one of those, one of those goals was, you know, to move to Nashville, and I just did that two months ago, so I got to, like, write the little check mark next to it, you know, and nice. cool just check stuff off. I love that. I love that. I, you know, I always tell, I always tell everybody, you know, um, on my personal Facebook page or whatever, I always write down goals. And I always tell people, if you don't write it down, you're not going to make yourself accountable for it. You're not going to hold Absolutely. on to it. So that, I, I think for me, that's why I was just so intrigued by, by what your reasoning was with that, because I, I do the same thing and I think it's really important. And so I'm so glad that I saw that you do that. And um, oh. it is incredibly exciting when you get to put those check marks <laughs> it's really <laughs> just it's this and then you're like "Ooh, what can I think of next what am I going to do next so so that brings me to my next question I want to know what what your next goals are like you've already done so much you've written songwriting you know you, you you've gotten awards for your songwriting and you know you've moved to Nashville now and you know what what else do you want to do what is your next goal I mean, right now, one of the things that's really important to me is getting to getting my music to reach as many people as possible. And, so, you know, it is, it's important to me. And, um, you know, I, right now, I'm in the process of just trying to reach out to people and to, to meet them and, you know, try to spread my music around as far as I can. So, you know, it's what I want to do with my life. And right, right now, that's just what I'm looking towards at the moment. 
Well, that that's great. Now, I know you have social media platforms as well. Have have you found that those are helpful in in getting your music out there to the fans? Definitely. It's it's crazy because I basically, I mean, all my friends will tell you I'm like a grandma at heart. I mean, social media does not come easy for me at all. Um, but the fact, which is which is weird because I'm 20, but um, but the fact that I'm learning how to do it and realizing that you can connect with so many people that way. And that had never really occurred to me before. So you need to meet people that actually listen to my music, you know, meet them online. It's, it's, it's a really cool thing. I'm really liking it, honestly. Oh, that's great. I, I, I love it. You know, I'm learning all the social media stuff as well. And, um, you know, I have somebody who's teaching me as I go. But I've seen that so many people are doing so much without without the music labels, um, you know, so many right. young young ones are, you know, following people on YouTube and, you know, Instagram and, and all of these different media outlets. And that's where they're finding all of these, you know, artists. And Twitter is huge for that as well. Um, I see artists all the time promoting themselves on, on there. And it's, I just think it's really incredible. And, you, you, you know, artists are able to do a lot. With, with their social media, so I'm glad that you're I'm glad that you're learning and your friends are helping you, um, because I I definitely think that's where we're all headed anyway. You know, is um, the more independent artists are are definitely making it, and it's great to see because you know there's so much talent out there. You, you know, you guys all are so talented, and you know it's just <laughs> bringing you bringing you to the the front of the audience. It's, you know, that's basically what our magazine is about. Um, you know, right. the, the new and upcoming artists, you know, yes, hats off to all the top 40. We love them all, but there's so much more out there than just the top 40. So it's really great that, that you know, we get to find you guys and um, listen to you and, you know, talk. And I, I love that you're so willing to talk to us as well. And so for those who don't know, what do you consider your, your style of music? Because when I listen to you, I hear a couple of different things. I keep switching myself back and forth to, ooh, is she this kind of artist or this kind of artist? So what do you feel yeah. your style is? You know, it's weird. I, I call it twangless country because I, I don't really have that much twang, but mm-hmm. I do really love country instrumentation. Right. And so, you know, it's it's a country folk pop blend. You right. Know. Yeah, and see what I hear is I hear when I when I hear the the country influence absolutely. I hear you know the the stories in your songs. Every, it's very very country, but I hear so much indie in your voice that I'm like, ooh, it's kind of interesting. It's like a, <laughs> so it's 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 fun. It's a it's a neat mix, and um you know the stories the stories in your songs are pretty great. So um, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh no problem. Are they all personal experiences for you, or I mean? I know you write everything, so is it all personal experiences, or is it maybe some things that you've seen with other people as well? Most of the songs that you will hear are written about me and um, about my experiences, just because that's you know, what I have access to all the time. Although I have to say, there are a few times when I'll see something happening to you know one of my friends or someone that I just see around, and I'll write a song about that. Just. Um, you know, it just depends on what inspires you. Like, I know there's right. a track on on my CD called Sit on the Pier Alone um, that I wrote about my friend and her boyfriend. Her boyfriend was going off to college, and she was staying at home, and so I said, that's cool, you're staying together, so I'm going to write a song about that. Um, oh, that's great. You know, it just depends. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm, you know, I'm so glad I asked because you never know. And it's, it's always fun for the listener to figure out where the songwriter was going with, with their story. Um, is it, you know, I mean, people want to know, they want to be connected. And, and so I love to ask those questions because I think it's a great way for fans to really connect and relate to you and they know what you were writing and why. And I, I just think it's so important because it builds a, a, a bigger connection, a bigger relationship for them so um definitely yeah so so thank you that's why i love i love songwriters i'm so into songwriters if if you if you listen to pretty much any of my other interviews i'm always always talking about the songwriters songwriters do not get enough attention you all you just don't you don't get enough recognition you don't get enough pay songwriters just they deserve way more than what they get so but um thank you for that oh my gosh no no problem at all so what do you have coming up for for 2016 do you have some dates that that we can share with fans or anything exciting 
Well, I know that at the moment I'm actually going back into the recording studio over Christmas break. Um, so I'm going to be releasing an album, uh, sort of an EP of some acoustic songs. And I am really, really excited about that since I haven't professionally recorded any new songs in the past two years. And so to, oh, great. to show everyone what I've been doing is that I'm really excited about that. Oh, that's so great. Oh, I'm, I'm excited too. So that we have more, oh, more new music to look forward to from you. Well, and I mean, people grow. And so if you haven't been in the studio in in two years, I'm sure you've just written a lot and you've got a, you know, you've got a lot of stuff you probably want to show everybody. So that's really, that's really incredible. I'm very excited to hear that. And uh, you're definitely going to have to let us know when that comes out so that we can promote it for you and make sure all the, absolutely make sure all the fans know. And then, you know, um, will it be, will, will it be out on iTunes just like your other one? Yes, it will be. Oh, perfect. Good. So then we can put up all the links for you as well when that one comes out. So you have you have to let us know. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> this is a requirement now. <laughs> no, but wow, thank you so much for, for taking the time and, and for chatting, you know, with us. And is there anything else you want fans to know about you right now, like who you are right now? Is there anything else you, you want to add before we go? I mean, I think you pretty much covered the basics. I mean, if there's anything that I would want to say to anyone who listens to my music, then it's just a big thank you because, you know, that's what lets me keep writing more music, which is what I love to do. And so it's just it just makes me really happy to hear that people listen to my music, you know. Well, absolutely. Um, we We will keep promoting you on our end as well. And you just keep up the great songwriting, um, you know, I just, I love the stories, like I said, and, and I know that if you, you keep up with it, you're, you're just going to thrive. You've already done so much up to this point and you're so young. So, you know, you have the world at your hands right now and, and we're all excited and cheering for you over here. So, you know, Aww. just, just keep in touch. Let us know when that next album comes out and uh, we'll, we'll definitely, we'll, we'll do what we can to keep promoting you in the meantime. And again, thank you for taking the time to, to speak with us today and we look forward to talking talking to you soon. Oh, thank you so much. I had an awesome time talking to you. Oh, all right. Well, thank you. Take care. And again, we'll, we'll hear from you as soon as you have that, that album done. You just let us know and we will, we will handle it. Okay. That sounds great. All right. You have a good day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.